The Late Age of Print tells two stories. The first story is about the constitution of the modern book industry. And it's also about the way in which the book industry helped to, you know, really kind of fuel the growth of consumer culture in the United States in the 20th century. People ask me all the time whether printed books are going to go away. The simple answer to that is no, absolutely not. Books are vying for attention with other technologies that they haven't necessarily had to vie for in the past. The concept of the late age of print doesn't mean the death knell for print. In fact, it means just the opposite. It means that print has taken on a new sort of life. But what it also signals is the way in which books and other printed media occupy a much more dense media environment than they ever have in human history. One of the things that people often say about contemporary book culture is that electronic media, or even specifically digital media, are killing off old media or analog media printed books in particular. And one of the things that I try to do in the late age of print is to show, in fact, that that is the wrong story to tell. It's easy enough to sound the alarm bells, to say that book culture is on the skids, that it's about to die out, that the printed book is a thing of the past. It's also really easy to write a book that says, well, look, we need to hold fast to the printed page because that is the savior of Western culture. There's a famous digital theorist who once likened printed books to tree flakes encased in dead cow. Now, what he means by that is that books are anachronisms. They are things that don't belong in the digital world and that they are holdovers in the 21st century. That is something that I absolutely do not believe in. They are fundamentally present-day technologies, despite what the digital theorists may think. If we just completely cede ourselves today to digital culture, we may well lose those habits of thought, conduct, and expression that have long been associated with printed books. And to me, it's not necessarily about a move from the one to the other. It's about creating a robust culture where we have the room to embrace both. This is a book that has lots of information for people who at least you know, care at some degree about the well-being of books and book culture in the United States. The most important thing that readers will take away is a recognition of the fact that books are not going away.